events. I have these three editors here, Z3 Windows for Windows, Z3 Win, Hex Editor Neo, Hush XD. And uh, <clears throat> right now I opened uh, this Hex Editor Neo, which is a bit more complicated uh, to use, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it has some very interesting internal functions that I really like, but it's a bit over complicated for some basic stuff that should do. So this is what I figured out by myself uh, in a couple of hours, mostly a day, of staying on these uh, three editors until I figured them out. Of course, Z3Win uh, is, a, is a trial, is 30 days, and I cannot use it much. Um, and these modern editors are way more interesting to use. So let's let's start. I'm also I did also um, I made myself a, a help file with the most the basic things that uh, uh, you know to remember things because this uh, uh, these things I don't do them every day, so I do forget a ton of these little details. What uh, I'm doing, what I'm learning right now, what I'm figuring out right now. And it's a universal law. If you want, uh, do yourself a a good thing for the future and make yourself a, a small tutorial with the basic things and you will thank yourself later so let's start uh first of all i, I will uh, select uh, here the, the folder where i want and this folder is empty i can show you actually here um where i am here uh in c let me actually point it for you it's uh this is the root here uh drive c i made a folder called zero so and this is the interior uh, this is the interior of the folder which is containing nothing is empty so this is what this uh, small explorer is seeing here. Right now, uh, I will make a new file. I will edit uh, its byte. It its bytes, uh, not bits, because this is eight bits per one square here. Um, so this will be zero 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 one zero two zero three zero four zero five. Um, probably this zero five. I will not use it, <laughs> but I will put it there anyway. And uh, let's see. Uh, save this thing and it doesn't say it has a binary or hexa and it's a bit weird it's a bit weird from this aspect from this point of view and uh, but the solution is simple it's very simple you have to manually input everything uh, in my case I will name it as also zero <laughs> the, the name of the file is zero uh, dot bin uh, not hex but bin because it will save in, in binary right now uh, as a binary uh, encoded uh, file and save and now it appeared here as you can see and if you click on it it will want to open it actually and we can open it but not directly but with my explorer here and as you can see it has a little bit of code of coded text and uh let's take, make the, the test here in proteus i have everything open uh, actually let me delete everything that i have already here uh come on yes it's moved where are you uh close proteus then this guy all right and uh, let's check uh zero dot hex it was the last one so now the bin one okay Play it, test it, one, two, three, four, five. That's it, it's good, it's working, excellent. Stop the simulation. Next, uh, now let's uh, save it as a hex file, not as a bin binary file, uh, which it turns out is a bit more complicated that uh, it's, uh, you know, this is called a hex editor, but is a bit weird how you have to convert to export this file <laughs> as a hex file unbelievable and uh, yeah it's it's fucked up but uh, yeah okay okay let's let's work with uh, what it it is offering so we have here two options copy and export and i read this actually i stayed and think about it and it's having a copy to clipboard and this button is says copy but in the moment you choose this export it's like two options here one after another these are the next three options but these are only two options here or co copy or export that's it you have these two options and now when you click on the option export option the button will change as an export but uh, you'll notice that the uh, the button is not um, uh, available and uh, for this uh, and, uh, at this point I, I spent like a, a couple of hours until I, I figured out how the hell do you uh, save export a, a file because it was uh, it didn't export anything I was pressing the button nothing appeared there nothing appeared here as well and what the hell the trick was to include this entire root plus the name of the folder so if you if you do it like this it doesn't save anything but you have to uh, as well it doesn't give you any extensions here uh, not as hex, not as bin, uh, not as anything. Uh, so you have to, again to include manually zero. It's already seeing is uh, is a bin there, but uh, we don't need that hex. So in the same folder in local C and my local drive uh, C, in the same folder zero folder, we make a new file named zero, but with the extension hexa, and click save. But now it will not save anything because it's not appearing anything either here in this explorer uh, or the fucking police um, outside. Do you hear it? But uh, only only it is a. Uh, making this uh is preparing this this route here what what you have to uh, what to know where to save and what to save pretty much it's like uh but we have other stuff to 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 put in the raw text here i didn't change anything i i don't think this is very important but this is important here elements as hex we have to select that we want a hex file a group this i don't really know how what to choose so i leave it as default also the columns i don't know i leave it as default uh here space without separators this was important and default uh no and yeah that's it and then 
so only two options you have to, ch to change here to change it uh, into hex and without separators that's it and in encoded data this is very important here because if you save it other uh, this is the, the encryption of the file and you have to choose intel 8-bit i tried everything and i tested everything and i look inside the file after i save it um uh, on this intel 8 16 or 32 but my 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 good sense is telling me that 8 bits is the most used uh file the, the others probably they are uh, more specialized or depending on the situation or something but the intel 8-bit probably is the most used uh file and i choose this guy and now when i'm pressing export that button it will appear here the file and also in my total commander so if i press it ta here it is and also here in my total commander it appeared here now let's let's take him from here and move it here uh inside my uh program uh, where are you? uh in my proteos program let's load it and it, the last one was the bin now the hex here it is the hex all right play it and it should be the same program and it's not <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Close. I forget. <laughs> you have right now is empty. This is another tricky thing. Uh, if I'm looking inside, this is it did something there. But you have with this program at least, you have to actually to select the group of things that you want to be exported. This is just just ah just stupid. And if you don't select, you see this green square here. You have to select inside this entire green selection here. If you click it outside, this export button is is uh, is not showing itself. It's disappearing. Uh, and if I'm clicking inside the, this selection that I did, ah, I did <laughs> uh, you have to, you add to selection by keeping your finger on control. So if you and dragging the mouse or on Alt and dragging the mouse to subtract the selection. So this is uh, uh, if I'm keeping the control uh, key on my keyboard pressed. Now I'm adding to selection. I played with this thing until I figured it out. Oh, uh, a lot of time, a lot of time. And now I'm keeping the Alt key to subtract from selection. And now it's only what I selected. And uh, or or you can uh, so let's des deselect everything. Or you can press Control. A, which it means uh, select all, or Control D, that means deselect all. So it's pretty much like a, like in any editor file, Control A and Control D. And uh, after you select it, um, put your cursor inside this thing. The export button is uh, open again. Now I'm pressing it. I'm exporting it again. Let me actually uh, delete this file from there. Export it again. It appeared again. And now, uh, when I'm moving it here, overwrite that previous one. And now it's already loaded here. Zero hex. And when I'm playing. Tram is working. <laughs> what the fuck? Right? <laughs> right? What the fuck? <laughs> so just for 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 so converting into hex. Let's let's stop this uh, thing. Uh, uh, but this was overcomplicated a little bit for some very simple functions that it must do without any trouble. But it has some interesting functions like like this. Uh, let's select this byte here. Uh, and uh, if I'm pressing this uh, little function that is having here, modify bits, this is very, very interesting. I fell in love with this little thing. First of all, it's letting you visually to, to see the bits. It's also writing them here. You can manually uh, change them here as well, and they will... Uh, are you? No, you cannot. <laughs> you cannot modify Bella. Uh, yes, you can. For some reason, it didn't uh, help me. Uh, let me. Okay, now, you, and they are updating here, but it's easier to press uh, one or zero on the buttons, and it will change here. And also, the value in hexa. Uh, of course, you have to, to choose this option uh, to be in hexa or decimal here. Yeah. Or octal, but uh, we are interested in, in hexa. And when you press OK, it will change this bit, that this byte that we have here, into that value, that uh, into this little function that is converting those bits inside this byte. So this is very. I, I fell fell in love because this uh, this is very good for uh, uh, input output uh, pin manipulation. If you want to to create a shape, uh, to 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 send out a shape, it's absolutely genius. It's, it's very good. I really like it. But unfortunately, it's the only good functions function from the entire program I press. I tried everything. I look everywhere, and it's the only thing that is worth uh, <laughs> using you know uh, anything else is just there okay this is it about this program I will close it uh, save yeah motherfucker. <laughs> and now uh, let's open this uh, hxd the same thing let me uh, clean this folder so I'll delete those two I will this, delete this two as well actually I don't need this uh, this uh, so I will clean those two I'll make a new file again 0 0 0 1 0 not 0 2 I Two zero three zero four zero five. But the fifth bit, it will not be actually implemented. Uh, but I put it there anyway. So this is very short, uh, very very short string of uh, of bits here. Uh, this thing is showing here. That is a uh, is showing if I'm changing from here, it's not affecting the, the saving of the file. Uh, I was thinking this will affect the saving of the file, but this is only for uh, visualization. On uh, what we have here, hex decimal. You see, it's it's changing only these things here, and uh, it's not actually for for saving. Um, it's a, it's pretty much like Paint, <laughs> the Paint software. It's very straight to the point in a sense, which is very good. I, I I'm liking this program more than the other, <laughs> a little bit more. And right now let's save this file because it's not saved at all. I just created a new file and it says here untitled one. When I'm saving it in the same directory, I will choose the same as before. It doesn't tell me what I should save as, so uh, I will have to manually 
who choose what to save. So the, its default saving is in binary, exactly like in the other one. So 0.bin zero, zero file, save it, and let's test it. Come on, here it is. Let's put it here in the same folder with the Proteus file. Let's change the new file right now. Come on. All right. Let's play it. It should be the same code as before, and, and it is the same code. Excellent. Hey, don't, don't, don't zoom out. Close the simulation. And now, the, the fun part, transform it, it, transforming it into hex. And um, I believe it was the export, yes, from here. So from here, you have to actually export. Again, this is, this is a hex editor, and you have to export, not to save, into a hex uh, file. So uh, this is a bit tricky because it doesn't tell you, uh, it's, uh, it doesn't specify you, yes, save it as a hex file. But is kind of is is expecting you to know already what this type of file is actually a hex file, and because uh, you remember the other program, uh, the hex editor Neo, this guy, uh, that actually helped me understand what kind of uh, encoding uh, is using. Uh, here I observe it doesn't have the 8 bit, so probably the 16 bit is the general use one. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, it's either 8 or 16. It's the same good. So I will choose the 16. Again, it doesn't. Uh, only here is saying is a hex file. You see, is the only hint that is letting you know this, this is a hex file. And even with this, it will save as a empty without extension file. Let, let's let's do it and let's see if it's doing it like that. So, I don't know, it, it, uh, it did automatically automatically put a hex dot hex extension, uh, which is good. But uh, in other versions, I was getting use of introducing myself the, uh, the, the, the extension of the file because I wasn't sure this will do the job. So in this case, it did the job. So now I'm putting this hex file here. Let's load it, where are you? Let's load it in my Proteus. Here it is, the hex file, all right. And let's test it when I'm pressing here is fucking working so yes this is it this is the test uh, I did with the, this uh, new, new um, this modern uh, editors hex editors I had to actually to, to learn uh, them a little bit uh, for a small code I tested a lot of things and for small codes uh, I'm calling it a code what I'm doing here because this is the like a code that you uh, put it into your RAM and you play it from the RAM you run the you put the RAM in run mode, and this basically like playing each address and and uh, playing each byte from each address. And uh, I forget what I wanted to say. Oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah. The, the only thing that I tested so far was very short uh, codes that I'm doing here uh, that I'm putting inside the RAM memory. Uh, but uh, for longer, more complex uh, code, uh, hexa code or binary code, um, it's uh, not really I, i'm not used to uh to very big uh, yet but in time if i will use it a long long time uh, i will make another movie about it <laughs> but until until this point when you have to edit a short uh, amount of codes and load it there and test it and uh, these two uh, both uh, both editors are, are are very good i really like them both uh, probably more this uh, hxd than the hex editor now uh, because it's uh, of its simplicity and directness so i like it a bit more <laughs> for that <laughs> all right this is it thank you very much for watching and for listening and uh, see you later see you later alligator <laughs>